Um, I have a story about offerings in that uh, I was involved with a church that had a building campaign. And uh, the church was growing and they needed to have more space and uh, we had been fed there uh, quite substantially. So we thought of, uh, the, I think the pastor said, you know, you should ask God about this. And we heard somebody else's testimony about it and we thought, well, that's just them. Um, you know, God likes them better, but when you come to the realization that God likes us all, then, then there isn't that, you know, they're, they're gonna get blessed and not me. But there was a, a challenge to uh, give an offering up front and maybe give uh, a certain amount over time. Uh, this particular challenge was over three years and uh, at the time uh, we had some money saved up and uh, it was earmarked for college tuition. And uh, I'm not telling anybody to give your kids college tuition away but um, <laughs> the two of us prayed individually about how much God would have us give. And, uh, you know, we sat down that, hey, let's try to give a little bit now and a little bit out of our budgets uh, going forward. And so we thought, okay, we're going to give a substantial portion of this money we had saved up uh, in a one-time contribution. And then uh, over the course of three years, we split it up into monthly payments. And we said, this is what we intend in our heart to do. And we did. And lo and behold, um, not too far after that, I was approached with uh, getting another job offer. And this time, it was a job I really, really wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, since they approached me, I was able to negotiate a little bit of a signing bonus and, uh, and a raise. And uh, looking back, oddly enough, you know, he can't outgive God, so he gave everything back to us. Not only did he give us the amount of money in an upfront signing bonus that I had just given, but he gave us uh, a raise, which totally covered what we were, you know, pledged to give. And uh, I'd say sometimes when you think about giving, uh, think not about giving until it hurts. But uh, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. I think even a hilarious giver. So give until you laugh, <laughs> is, is what I'd say. Mm -hmm. Give until it's ludicrous and you just know God's gonna do something because you can trust Him. And I think you get to a point where you're excited to give to God because you know, you know it's His money and you know He's gonna take it and He's gonna use it and He's gonna multiply it and, and He's gonna provide for us. So it's exciting, you get to that excitement to give. It's a good place.